Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from sysadmin102. In today's video, I will show you how to set up DNS crypt proxy on uh, OpSense through tech and encrypt your DNS traffic. So with this setup, we got uh, two options. Uh, option one, which is a uh, DNS crypt at a secondary DNS server. And option number two, which is DNS crypt as a primary DNS server. As I move to option one and option two, I'm gonna explain uh, what the difference is and uh, um, what benefit or limitation does it have. Like always, thank you for your support. And if you think this video is helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share at the end of the video. And let's get started. All right, let's head over to our uh, AppSense dashboard. So as of this tutorial, uh, we are currently on version 25.1. Then navigate to uh, system and then uh, firmware and plugins. We're gonna download and install the uh, DNS crypt proxy. So we're gonna search for DNS. And we're gonna download the DNS uh, crypt proxy. All right, I'm gonna do a quick refresh. So that's why it's gonna show up under the services. All right, and we're gonna select services and then DNS crypt proxy. And then configurations. All right, so by default, it listen on port 5353 uh, that might create a conflict if you have uh, mdns running on yours so uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove that and we're gonna check enable dns crypt proxy and we're gonna change this to um, 127.0.0.1 and the port number is gonna be 15353 and comma uh, we're gonna add the in the IPv6 as well. So it's gonna be the racket and then column, column, and then one, and then the racket again, and then column, one, five, three, five, three. That's for the IPv6. All right, and we're gonna uncheck allow privilege port. We we don't want it to run on a port 53. We wanna keep the unbound DNS on 53. Uh, of course, if you wanna run it at the primary DNS servers, you can do so. But keep in mind that um, by doing so, uh, you will lose the local domain, which is resolved by unbound DNS. All right, and then uh, you have an option to use uh, IPv6 servers. This is optional, but we're gonna go ahead and check it for the purpose of the tutorial. And then you have the option to require the DNS sec. And then you have the option to require no filter. So if you check the options, uh, basically you allow DNS crypt to automatically pick the server based on the option that you refer. And then the next two options, these are more like for Tor networking. Uh, we're gonna leave us at the default, which is blank and unchecked. Next, uh, block IPv6. So it immediately responds to IPv6 query with an empty response. This makes things faster when there is no IPv6 connections. So if your internet server provider does not support IPv6, which is kind of rare nowadays, but possible. Uh, then you would check this. It makes things go a lot quicker. All right, moving on to the server list. So if you look, if you click on the little icon, it's gonna have the set of uh, the link for the no servers. So these are the re uh, refer servers. If you put that server in here, um, Unbound DNS is gonna use that server instead of uh, picking the, the own server whatever I think are the best and based on the um, reference that you set up here uh, such as require DNS sec no lock and no filter uh, down here you have the option to pick the server that you want it all right I'm gonna go ahead and open that uh, list of the no server so here we have the list of all the uh, available servers that offer by DNS crypt for the one with the v6 that the IPv6 if you don't see a v6, that means that the IPv4 server. And if you see a little red icon right here, uh, that means it has filtering. The filtering, it could be for like ad blocking, malware tracker. And then if you see DOH, would mean that the DNS over HTTPS protocol and it's supporting uh, DNS sec. If it have the little lock icon over here. If ad guard your favorite uh, DNS, um, you're in luck because on the top one, However, if you're using anything else, I find it's um, easier to uh, look for the DNS server by select uh, R. And then if you are uh, on Windows, just Control F 
beyond Mac gonna be a uh, command F and then you can find your favorite server for this example we're gonna look for quad 9 so this are uh, the server for quad 9 so I'm gonna using two server one at the IPv4 and one for IPv6 I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy that one and then comma I'm gonna come back and copy the IPv6 All right, so that's gonna let the uh, DNF crib know that these are the two uh, server that we want to use. Make sure you enable the query logs. Um, it's not necessary, but it's necessary for the initial setup. So if anything go wrong, you can troubleshooting. All right, we can save it, and we're gonna go down to log general. And as you see, it already started and it listened on port uh, one five three five three. TCP and UDP. All right, for option one, you're gonna have a DNS crypt act as the second DNS server. So in this setup, the unbound DNS is to remain your primary DNS resolver. It's gonna resolve all your LAN um, DNS query. However, you have the option to uh, manually um, forwarding all the requests uh, on a separate VLAN to uh, DNS crypt. So that's why you can have um, all the filter traffic on the unbound DNS and unfiltered traffic on the DNS crypt, but you're still able to take advantage of the encrypted DNS options. So with that, uh, let's get started. So we're gonna head back to uh, the firewall. All right, and uh, from here, we're gonna select firewall and alias. So first step, we're gonna create a new alias for it. So we're gonna select add the, add the new one. And for the name, it's gonna be a loopback underscore IPv4 underscore IPv6 and then for the content it's gonna be just a loopback address for the IPv4 and IPv6 so 127.0.0.1 for IPv4 and then uh, column column 1 for IPv6 and for the descriptions it's gonna be a loopback IPv4 plus IPv6 and if we've done that we're gonna save it and we're gonna select apply changes. All right, next we're gonna create a NAS rule. So we go down to NAT and uh, port forward. So right now for my VLAN 30, I already have uh, it forwarding to uh, the IPv6 and IPv4 loopback. So port for the, for 53 uh, for the DNS forwarding to the DNS creep at uh, 15353. So if you don't create an alias, you will have to create a uh, two different rules, one for IPv4 and one for IPv6. And this one, currently I have the VLAN 20 game, haven't set it up yet. So we're gonna create a NAT rule for VLAN 20. So that's where I can show you how to do it. So we're gonna select add the add the new rules. And we're gonna select, uh, we're gonna uncheck Wang from the interface. And we're gonna search for VLAN 20 and we're gonna select VLAN 20 for game. All right, and uh, for the TCP IP versions, it's going to be IPv4 plus IPv6. Protocol is going to be TCP slash UDP. And for the destinations, it's going to be VLAN 20 net. All right, and for the destination port, it's going to be DNS to DNS. Redirect target IP. That's when you're going to select the loopback uh, alias that you created earlier. So that's why we can have one rule and it works for both IPv4 and IPv6. And redirect target port is gonna be order. And then it's gonna be port 15353 or whatever that you set for DNS crypt to listen on. And for the decryptions, it's gonna be uh, redirect external DNS request to the local DNS resolver. We're gonna save it. And we're gonna select apply changes. All right, and next we're gonna perform a DNS leak test. So first I need to connect it to the game VLAN. All right, and uh, I'm gonna go back to my tutorial. I'm gonna open up the link for DNS leak test. And as you see, all the IPv4 and IPv6 is all get the uh, query into um, Quad9 DNS server, which is run by I. 3D.net. For option number two, DNS crypt gonna 
X at the primary DNS server. So this is the mode balance approach. It's allowing the unbound DNS to handle all the local domain name resolutions while forwarding all the external query to the DNS crypt proxy for encryptions. So this is going to allow the local devices to communicate using the host name. So if you don't know what host name means, it means that, uh, for example, like this one, I able to access is using the opsense uh, hyphen fw01.sysadmin102.org instead of you have to use the IP address, uh, for example, like 192.168.1.1. So therefore, this configuration it provides the best of both worlds. It uh, privacy encryption and it allow the local DNS resolution as well. So let's get started. All right, from here we're gonna select uh, services, and then we're gonna go down to unbound DNS, and we're gonna select uh, DNS over TOS. If you have any DNS over TOS, make sure that you uh, disable them or uh, you delete them because on uh, unbound DNS, DNS over TOS uh, is referred. So if you have a server for DNS over TOS setup, by default, unbound DNS going to using that server instead of forwarding it to uh, the DNS crypt. And once you disable or delete the DNS over TOS, all right, so once you disable or delete the DNS over TOS, we're going to head over to uh, query forwarding. So from here, make sure that the U system name server unchecked. And then um, we're going to select add to add a new one. So for the first one, it's going to be 127.0.0.1. This is the loopback IP address for IPv4. And then the server port, it's going to be 153.53. For the decryption, we're going to say uh, for DNS request over IPv4 to uh, DNS crypt. And we're going to save it. And next one, gonna, we're going to add the same one, but for IPv6, you can use the loan so you don't have to rewrite the whole decryptions. And then from here, we're going to uh, type it in uh, column, column, 1 for IPv6. And then you can change the depression to IPv6. And when you've done that, we're going to save it. And we're going to select Apply Changes as well. All right. And that should work already. So we're going to head back to a DNS leak test. And we're going to run that again. All right. So now we have a lot more DNS servers. However, all these servers is still belong to uh, Huatnai DNS. So WoodyNet and uh, i3d.net, it all belong to Quad9. So all your IPv4 and IPv6 uh, successfully po forwarded to uh, Quad9 DNS servers, and we don't have any uh, DNS leak. All right, before I conclude this video, um, I'm going to leave you with uh, some of the best practice. Um, make sure that you use the reliable DNS resolvers such as uh, Loudflare or Quad9 or OpenDNS. And... Uh, some of the common troubleshooting uh, troubleshooting tip I can give you it um, sometimes that it's gonna affecting whether you're able to forwarding the DNS to DNS crypt or not. If you listed the DNS server up here and then uh, under unbound DNS. You selected the use system name server it's gonna use that dns server and in, instead of forwarding the query another common thing that you have a dns over tos when you have this enabled uh, like on way unbound dns refer to use dns over tos first before it go down to the query forwarding so if you have a the dns over tos server listed in here it automatically gonna send it uh, to that server instead of forwarding it to a dns crypt like we set it up uh, another thing that can affecting uh, which DNS server your interface gonna use if you head over to uh, ISC DXCPv4 right here if you have a DNS server listed in D2 box that interface gonna use that DNS server regardless if you have a DNS uh, creep and uh, you have the net rule set up or not it's gonna use that uh, DNS server by default so make sure that you keep it uh, clear for the DNS server. And that concluded today's video. If you think the tutorial is helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And if you have any questions, leave us in the comment. Uh, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.